Today's video is sponsored by HealLifeHealth.co.uk. Hello everyone, welcome back to Arty Lobotics, and today we're going to take a look at the Horizon Hobby Blade Nano S2, a fantastic little 3D micro flyballless helicopter. I went and got myself the bind and fly version, so there's no extra controller with this, it's just bound straight to my DX8 Gen 1. Now I did have some trouble binding it to the, my DX8, and that's purely down to the settings in the instruction manual don't 100% correspond with a DX8 Gen 1. So if you do have a DX8 Gen 1 like me, the best thing you can do is go and click the link in the description. It'll take you to a forum. That'll take you to a downloadable link, which you can download a profile to stick on an SD card. Stick that straight into your DX8 and save yourself the hassle. So this is how it comes in the box. Uh, I use this box to take it to and from the field. It's just a great way to keep it, you know, from gathering dust, getting hangar rash. It's just a great way to keep it safe while you're not using it and while you're not flying. Also in the box, you get detailed, very, very detailed instruction manual for um, the helicopter, all different transmitters you can set it up on, and just your regular disclaimer. And also inside this box, just like your regular helicopters from Blade, you get a spare set of blades, you get a, some rubber grommets for the canopy, and you also get a little tool set, some linkages for the head, and yeah, just regular spares that you're going to need in, in the in inevitable case of a crash. And there's your little tool set. You also get these two little black things in the tool set. I think these are for the feathering spindle when you inevitably need to replace the feathering spindle. Uh, I think I actually need to replace my feathering spindle already because I've crashed it one too many times. And this is how everything comes in the box. So let's get this out and show you a little bit more in depth. So here's your one cell charger e-flight. It takes around about 25 minutes to charge and out of that 25 minutes you'll get about 2 minutes 30 seconds out of this one cell 150 milliamp hour 45C battery. And the flight time really does depend on what kind of temperature you're flying in. So I've flown in warm climates and I've also flown in cool climates and you will, your flight time does decrease considerably in cooler climates because of the internal resistance so it'll be very interesting to see just how long this thing does fly in 3d mode in the summertime uh, when it gets a little bit warmer but i absolutely love the livery or the color scheme on this canopy you've got the electric blue at the top and that white contrast at the bottom it really helps you with orientation when 3d and when you're flipping because it is quite a small helicopter and it can run away from you quite quickly but the colors pop so much that you know it's very very easy to see what's going on and this is the s2 version obviously from the original nano and some of the upgrades they've made is mostly with this fly, fly ballish unit. So the old fly ballish unit was mounted horizontally and now they've gone and mounted it vertically. So this apparently helps better with vibration and also in the event of a crash sometimes the old uh, fly ballish units would actually snap off because uh, you know you, you hit them on the ground and that'd be the first thing that the uh, ground would see. So that's a fantastic little upgrade they've made to this helicopter. I'd just like to take a moment to talk about our sponsor, HealLifeHealth.co.uk. HealLife offer the cleanest and the purest CBD oil on the market. It's absolutely fantastic and I use it daily just to help with my tremors with my hands so it helps me make my videos because you need a steady hand with these RC helicopters. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and use coupon code RCLobotics, all in capitals, and get 15% off your order.
Resistance and the battery almost off. And that's it in stability mode. Very stable. Very stable indeed. I've noticed, now it's a nice warmer day, we're getting a lot longer flight time out of the battery. I was normally getting around about 60 seconds, we've been up for nearly two minutes now I think. Oops. <laughs> So yeah, thank you very much for joining us here at RC Robotics. If you do like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's just up there in the corner. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, I'll pop one down here and another just down here. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.